What's up, Rage Nation? How y'all doing? This is Alex Yu. And this is a completely random video. I was in my car driving and I was listening to the Kill Bill soundtrack because I like to listen to movie soundtracks. And I was thinking about when is Quentin Tarantino going to put out the Kill Bill Whole Bloody Affair box set? You know, that, that's been in talks for a really, really, really long time. And the idea was to have both movies on a single Blu-ray without credits in between. So there's no like end credits and there's no opening credits. It just goes straight from the, the cliffhanger sequence from the first movie and then it goes straight to the, um, uh, I forgot what scene it was, but the very first opening scene in, in, um, in Kill Bill 2. So it, it, that also means that we'll, they will take, take out the, uh, completely delete the scene where that, it's that black and white sequence where Uma Thurman is driving and she's talking to the camera. They're going to take out that scene completely so it plays out just like a long, like a three and a half hour long movie. So speaking of Kill Bill, I want to know if you guys have ever seen this. Now, if you don't already know, Kill Bill had two different releases. You got the American version and the Japanese version. Now, I have both versions, being a big fan of uh, Quentin Tarantino and also the Kill Bill films. So I'm going to show it to you guys just in case you guys haven't seen it. And I'd like to show you just because, um, just in case you're curious. So here's the Kill Bill Volume 2 box set. And I'm going to show you the Kill Bill Volume 1 box set. Now these are very significant because um, these were limited edition. Uh, these are very rare and hard to find now and um, I was in Japan and I um, it was a five week trip and eventually okay this was back in 2002 or 2003 I can't remember but it was the first time to Japan and then eventually I ran out of money okay then I saw an opportunity because I knew that there was a lot of collectibles and stuff in Japan that we don't have here in North America. So I decided that I should buy all this stuff that uh, they have in Japan and put them up on eBay. And that included the Kill Bill Volume 1 box set. Now this went for 9,800 yen, which is about like, uh, I don't know, $120 or $130 US. But it got bidded on on eBay for 200 US dollars, so almost double. So, and I sold like a dozen of these things. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you what they have in here that's so different. Um, first of all, the box set is cool because it comes like this. And you get not just the movie, okay? This is the exclusive Japanese cover. But you get the Okinawa t-shirt, which I haven't even opened up yet. The Okinawa t-shirt from, uh, from when uh, Uma Thurman was in the, uh, the bar where he meets uh, Hattori Hanzo. And then you get this. These are really cool. Okay, this is a, a Kill Bill... Kubrick, if you guys, or Bearbrick rather, uh, if you know what these things are, these are pretty cool. Um, they're kind of a fad now. Uh, nobody really collects these anymore. Um, and this, this is a um, uh, Mononofu, uh, um, a one, I think one eight scale or one six scale. I, it should be one eight scale. One eight scale katana sword. Now these were really popular, like quite a few years ago. Uh, people love collecting these things, and these were uh, katana swords that you assemble and then you'd put them on display. So this is a Hattori Hanzo uh, um, a 1 8 scale samurai sword. So this is what you get in the exclusive limited edition box set of Kill Bill Volume 1. And now I'm going to show you what's exclusive about uh, Kill Bill Volume 2 as soon as I put all this stuff away. And um, you know this is actually new for a lot of people because um, you know some people might not be aware of these exclusive versions. Now let me show you this version of Kill Bill Volume 2. Uh, once again, you get this crazy looking box set. You get, same kind of deal. I don't even know what this t-shirt is. Oh, okay, it's a um, red t-shirt with the um, silhouette design of uh, Pai Mei and uh, the bride practicing their kung fu. Then you have, of course, the DVD. And oh, you get the, this uh, kind of a, uh, this kind of information book, which I didn't, I didn't even know. You get these postcards. And once again, you get, uh, oh, this is the bear brick. This is a, a, a bear brick in a coffin. So that's pretty cool. And then there's something in here that... Oh, you get a Pai Mei keychain. So it doesn't come with the Mononofu um, sword, but you get the, the Pai Mei keychain. So I just want to show you guys this because um, I know there's some hardcore collectors out there. Now, now this didn't go for as much money on eBay. Now the reason why is because the version of this Kill Bill Volume 2 is exactly the same as the American version in terms of the movie itself. Um, the special features are a little different, 
But other than that, the, the, the movie's still the same. Now, the big ticket item is actually this one because Kill Bill Volume 1, actually, I saw that in the theater in Tokyo. Um, I had to see it because I knew about the, the differences. Is that, uh, let me actually, let me pull up my, my, my Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2 just to show you guys. The difference is quite significant. There are four differences. In um, Kill Bill, the, the, the Japanese version, it starts off with um, this Japanese text which says uh, dedicated to Kenji Fukusaku, who is the director of Battle Royale, because Quentin Tarantino actually admired uh, Kenji Fukusaku, and who actually passed away at the time of the production of Kill Bill. And then there was this um, another scene, you know, the anime sequence which introduces um, Oren Ishii. Well. That sequence is significantly longer. Well, not significantly longer. Maybe just the by a few seconds, but it's more graphic. So um, it, it's a it's a definitely a little more violent. The next scene is the big um, bride fight in the House of Blue Leaves. That scene was completely in full color. Okay, it was in full color, whereas the North American version was in black and white. The 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 um, the MPA wouldn't allow it to be in full color. Therefore, he had to make a more artistic version by making it black and white. Japanese version in full color, and also it has more scenes. There's more uh, death scenes. Uh, for example, when when the bride plucks out the eyeball of the Yakuza member, he actually shoves it in the mouth of another Yakuza member. So that scene was not shown in the North American version. And finally, the scene where um, where she was talking to uh, uh, um, uh, the the uh, the translator character played by Sophie something I forgot her name. Um, that the the blood spring sequence is actually a little longer, so just it, there's just a little few differences here and there, um, but it just shows you that uh, the Japanese are a little crazier in terms of the level of violence they're allowed to have on their their movies. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you, and I actually wanted to ask you guys a question: Do you guys know anything about the release of? Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill, The Whole Bloody Affair, because I really want to know when the heck that is coming out. From what I've heard, it's supposed to have some new animated sequence um, included in it. Um, it's supposed to have like this whole sequence where um, uh, I think it's like the the, the daughter of uh, of 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 uh, 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 Vivica A. Fox's character. Maybe the daughter of uh, Vivica A. Fox's character has, is supposed to have an animated sequence. I really don't know. Or it's supposed to have like the origins of, uh, or more scenes of Oren Ishii. I don't really know. But I am waiting for that movie, uh, or waiting for that Blu-ray release, because I really, really want it, being a collector and being a Tarantino fan. And also another thing is that, speaking of which, um, uh, where is it? Okay. I bought, um, I bought uh, um, uh, a Grindhouse, both movies. Uh, on DVD, but then, of course, being a fan, I had to buy it on Blu-ray because this is the full version. This is the full-length version with um, with um, the movies combined together, right? Just like like I used to. We used to have Grindhouse theaters in Vancouver here. They were in Chinatown, and we could watch two movies at once. And it came with all the R-rated trailers and also the the really ghetto-looking restaurant commercials. So. Like I, I know what ground, Grindhouse is. Okay, I used to go to them. <laughs> I saw a lot of. Uh, I saw a Better Tomorrow directed by John Woo in a Grindhouse theater in Chinatown. So, <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan of that type of genre. So, anyways, um, I just want to ask you guys uh, if you guys knew anything about the whole bloody affair of the Kill Bill, uh, because I want to know when that's coming out. Uh, if you guys got any information on that, let me know in the comment section below. Also, the final question that I'd like to leave you guys, if you don't know the answer to that question, is. What kind of uh, movie soundtracks do you like to listen to when you're driving and in your car? Uh, I love to listen to all movie soundtracks when I'm driving. I don't really listen to a whole lot of like pop music or anything like that. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys like to listen to when, um, when you're driving, okay? Anyways, my name is Alex Yu, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. You don't like him? I mean that you don't begin the movie liking him right away. You actually have to take your time to like him. Like, uh, he doesn't start off as a character.